Thank you. Uh, Rick Forstler, 13529 Military Road South in SeaTac. So when I was here last, uh, November 12th, I uh, made some comments on the utility tax, uh, specifically the 16 percent that was proposed for water and sewer. And uh, a few days later, I sent uh, this email to the uh, City Council, and I wanted to uh, read through it here. It says, uh, I'd like to clarify a few points. First and most importantly, my comments to the Des Moines City Council on the 12th were my own as a private citizen. I wasn't speaking on behalf of SeaTac nor the City Council. I couldn't anyway. I'm not even in office yet. However, my comments were informed by more than 15 years' experience with water and sewer and about 20 years' involvement with process improvement disciplines. Second, residents of SeaTac are already affected by Des Moines taxes. About 35 percent of SeaTac is served by the Midway Sewer District and about 60 percent of uh, is served by the Highland Water District. Treatment facilities of both these utilities operate within Des Moines and their rates reflect the added cost of ele electrical and other utility taxes which the city already lev levies on both. Additionally, when SeaTac houses inmates at the SCORE jail, the rates reflect the added operating cost of Des Moines taxes. All these costs are necessarily passed along to SeaTac residents, so this is indeed a valid concern for SeaTac folks as well. Third, there are many alternatives to raising taxes, and uh, they can often be implemented without laying off anyone nor reducing valuable services. Discipline process improvement has historically reduced costs ranging between 10 and 30 percent. Another option is contracted services where savings uh, of up to 50 percent are quite feasible. These options should be pursued long before raising taxes. This was the main point I wanted to make on the, on the uh, 12th. Fourth, uh, contrary to some accusations, I didn't have any personal motives for, for speaking. My, uh, I spoke to help ratepayers of water and sewer districts and also taxpayers in both our cities. <coughs> Fifth, I'd like to apologize for the, to the Des Moines City Council and the city manager uh, for not commenting earlier and in a less public venue than at your own council meeting. It was less than two hours before your meeting that I first became aware that the 16 percent water and sewer tax was scheduled for a decision that very evening. Uh, that's obviously not your fault, but my own. Uh, however, by then it was, there was no time left remaining for any other type of response. I'm willing to state this apology publicly along with the facts above if you prefer. And so after I sent that email, uh, Mayor Kaplan replied and asked me, yes, please come, and, and this was my first available Thursday to do that. So I delivered that apology. I just wanted to point out that SeaTac um, residents are affected, and the amount of the impact uh, is kind of immaterial because um, they're, they're not represented here. They can't vote. So it's a form of taxation without representation. So I felt like I was, uh, I was doing the responsible thing by, uh, by making that comment. Thank you for your time. And in any case, thank you for your service to the community and also for your willingness to consider other options. I understand you're, you're looking at a franchise fee now. Thank you. Thank you.